102. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I asked Gigi what we should do for a video today, and she had the idea of... Um, you can cut this, right? I um, could, yeah. Hitting random objects, uh, hitting random objects with <laughs> a baseball bat. I know! <laughs> oh, wait! <laughs> Hitting a baseball with random objects yes. and testing the exit velocity. Okay, so my idea was the exit velocity thing. She had the idea of finding random objects around the yard and having me hit baseballs with them or tennis balls or whatever I can hit with them, see what kind of exit velocities we get. So that's what we're doing. I didn't tell Gigi to prepare for this, so she wanted me to put a disclaimer for that's why her outfit is what it is because she didn't know she was going to be on camera. So, All right, so here's what we're working with today. We've got a couple of underripe lemons over here on the right with a tennis ball. We got a regular bat for a test like baseline. We got a, I don't know what that is, some cardboard tube. We got a shovel, we got a mallet. Um, we've got a broom and we got a mini bat. You can't see how tiny it is now, but you will in a second. All right, so I haven't swung a bat yet today. So this is first swing of the day, but we got a baseball and a regular baseball bat just as a baseline. Um, see what we got, first swing of the day. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna honestly try to get 90 for first swing, but this will just be my baseline anyways. 92. 92? Alright, we'll take it. 92 is the baseline. Let's see, I'm gonna start with a mallet. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking like 55 maybe would be pretty sick. So we'll see what we got. Ready? Ugh. What do we got? 42. 42? Alright, I got better in the tank than that. Here we go. Ah, 35. 51. 51. All right. I'll take, I'll take 51. I think I can get like 45. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Ah. 39. 39. And I almost hit my camera, to be honest. 43. 43? We'll take that all day. And I'm going to hit an underripe lemon. I have high expectations for this one. I think it's probably going to explode, but I'm pretty sure I can get some good numbers though on this explosion. So I'm shooting for like 70 here. Oof. What do it we got? It sprayed me. 73, I think. 73? Wait, I don't know. I was looking at the explosion. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> kind of smells good. I'm going to do the mini bat. This is from the <laughs> Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory. I got it. Gigi got it for me. She wanted me to say that. Um, so, I mean, I don't think two hands is going to be very helpful. I think I'm going to do backhand it and then just uh, see what I can get. <laughs> two hands would be so funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe I should just do two hands. All right, we're, we're going to do it. <laughs> <sighs> what do we got? 65. 65? It's got some pop. Okay, I only got one tennis ball. Okay. My next. My next investment is a wireless cord. If someone wants to Venmo me or something, feel free. All right, I'm gonna try this again. What was my number last time? 65. 65, all right. Road to 70, here we go. Dang it. 39. Which end should I hit with it? Do one of each. All right. Which end do we think we're gonna hit it harder with? I think if you actually hit it with the small ends, you'll hit it harder. Okay. But I think this end will be more likely to hit it more likely to hit it. You act like I have bad aim. <laughs> All right, here this we go. This is like a third of a quarter of the size of a real bat though. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm shooting for 60. 67. Yeah. No doubt about it. <laughs> 71. Shoot. That felt Crazy good. You see that bat trick too? Yeah, I saw it. The broom. I'd make a good maid. This was the package that my woody bat came in. So if you want a discount on that, by the way, I have a code for it. So I'll put that link down below. All right, here we go. I just feel like it's gonna slip out of my hand. 57. And that was like a good hit. That was like straight up the middle off the L screen. One-handed or two-handed? I'm going to go two hands again. Ah. All right. Here we go. Ugh. 
33. Oh man. <laughs> hey, this one smells good though. We've officially exhausted all objects, but I still got one more thing that I need to do now. Okay, actually, I'm gonna start with this thing. It's my sister's softball bat. Um, from? From, yeah, I don't even know how long ago. It's probably like 20 years old. Maybe not 20, but pretty close. So we're gonna see what this guy can do first, and then we'll get into the other one. So softball bat with a regular baseball, swing number one. Let's see what we got. 90. 90? All right. Is it in frame? I can't tell if it is yeah. or not. It is? Okay. Um, 90. All right. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can get 95. 93. 93. I think the grunt might have helped. That one I grunted and it was three <laughs> miles per hour harder. I'm going to try a grunt again. Grunt for 95. Here we go. 99. 99? 99? Oh, that's a good sight to see. <laughs> Screw it. I'm getting 100 with a softball bat. Grunt it. I have to grunt again. That's The louder the grunt, the harder the ball goes. You heard it here first. <laughs> 102. No way. <laughs> You're kidding. All right. I just need to yell louder. I think I might get 110 <laughs> if I just like really reach yeah. down deep in my voice. 97. Okay, there's no way that was 97. That, that my, was less of a grunt. No, I grunted way louder. We're gonna go for this one right here. This bat is the Anderson. Anderson KXR. This was my absolute favorite bat. It's like the big barrel of the Texilla. And um, Texilla was big back in, you know, Little League World Series. 2011 time. Um, it's got a crack in it. It's also dented up pretty bad, but this thing hits tanks. I will not be convinced otherwise. So I'm gonna try a grunt again, maybe like a medium grunt. I feel like when I did max grunt, my numbers started get to go down a little bit. Medium grunt, max effort. Max effort. <sighs> 95. 95, all right. I've definitely got more in me than that. 97. 97. All right, I got a pretty good ball right here. I'm gonna, do you think more grunt or less grunt? More grunt. More grunt, all right. Here we go. Just like yell at it. 97. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna try one with no grunt at all. Even though we both know my numbers are gonna go way down. 97. Uh, you got in the hundreds last time. I did. All right, all right. I'm gonna get 102 for sure Z's. Okay, here it goes. I got 102 in me. There you do. Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. I'm not leaving here till I get a one hundred and two. Ninety-nine. Gigi, come slap me in the face. <laughs> slap me in the face. Slap. A literal slap. Do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get the smelling salts. Here we go. 98. Ah! 87. <laughs> 90. I'm going down, fellas. Are you getting tired? Uh, I'm getting weak mentally and emotionally. You're going to need some of your own mental coaching. You're right. You're right. What would I tell myself? What would Robert Anthony Cruz say? I would say, <laughs> don't worry about so much about the results. Worry about the process. All I can do is control what I can control. I can't control that radar gun. You're right, Gigi. That was good advice. Here we go. 98. Hey, that was better than the one before. See that? See that positive mental shift? On a dime. It's a seasoned veteran metal, mental player right there. Who's about to get 100. 89. 
I forgot to do You it. forgot to, that one felt so good. That was your fault entirely. Oh, I'm so sorry. That one was 107 and you missed it. <laughs> All right, good thing I could do it again. One oh two. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> kind of hurt. Ah, okay. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Thank you for your help, Gigi. The verdict: softball bats hit tanks. Mental coaching is a real thing. And don't sleep on the tiny bat when hitting a tennis ball. <laughs>